Morning Blues, hope you're doing well. Just wanted to get your thoughts on uh, Bravo coming on board. Um, the rumours are coming out thick and fast now that the contract's already been agreed for him. Um, I just wanted to get what your thoughts on it. I actually think it's a bit of an odd one. We've got Hart, you know, it's, we don't want to be signing somebody who I assumed was Barcelona's backup keeper. We, we've got England's number one and Joe's been with us for a long time now, so it's going to be it's a, bit of, it's a bit of an odd one. I just keep asking myself the question, if Pellegrini would have done this, or, Pel um, um, or Mancini would have done this, I think I would have been kicking right off to get rid of Joe Hart. I, I don't think I'd be happy whatsoever. But because it's Pep, Pep is Pep, and he comes with a reputation of, of, of being a te technician and a, an absolute masterclass when it comes to man management. So what's he seen? What's happened in the back office that has made him and Hart possibly have a fallout so to want to bring in another keeper? we got Willie, we got Hart, and now Bravo, according to all the rumours. It's just interesting, I just wanted to get your thoughts, because for me, you know, Tis Sturgeon was, was Pep's first choice for goalkeeper, according to all the rumours coming in. So, w with the, uh, the transfer price that Barcelona put on his head, has, has that pushed him to one side and brought Bravo coming through? But again, if he's not your first choice, then why, why do we get him? It's a strange one for me. Um, Hart's one of the top four goalkeepers in the country and let's be honest now his, his distribution and, and handling is poor you see him punching so many times and you think catch it catch the damn bloody ball my dad's having a fit at him he used to be a goalkeeper just catch the thing and, and set up an, an attack and it's quite frustrating but he's a fantastic shot stopper he's made some absolute world class saves and he's got us out of trouble quite a few times it's just an odd one you know can can Pep not work with Hart to train him up, to get him up to speed in relation to being the Neuer type sweeper keeper that, that he wants him to be? It, it's, it's something. Is something else happened in the in the in the back that we can't see that's that's kicked off between the two of them. The, the personalities clash that much where we need to get rid of him. For me, if you're going to replace Hart, it's got to be for somebody amazing. But no one's available, so why? I don't. I just. I, just, I can't get my head around it. I just wanted to ask you guys what you thought. In my opinion, Joe Hart's our number one. England's number one. Work with him, train him, get him to what you want to be. If he's, if Pep's such a good man manager and a good tactician, train him up to be the goalkeeper you want him to be. Don't bring in more competition. It might be fantastic. Don't get me wrong. In, in six months' time, if Brava comes in and he's not letting one goal <laughs> or you know whatever it might be, then then I'll, I'll eat my words. But. I just, I just, I like Joe. He's been with us a long time now, and he's part of the uh, part of the furniture, isn't he? Maybe that's the problem. Maybe Pep's looking to uh, to make sweeping changes to get his own uh, stamp of authority. But interesting one. Let me know what your thoughts are, boys. My uh, report for the Sunderland games coming later on this afternoon, so uh, keep an eye out for that. And uh, yeah, let me know your thoughts. Thank you.